All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Cholenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Cholenza Show. So what I think I'm going to call this podcast is, is your dating profile a lie? So this is obviously going to be about people that are dating, that have, uh, you know, they may be online trying on a uh, dating website or a dating app. And the reason I get into this is because a lot of people that I try to help when it comes to relationships for the most part, are online. They either are on Tinder, Bumble, uh, Match.com, all these types of different websites. I'm not going to start listing them all. And, you know, a lot of times I'm hearing about, you know, them meeting up with people and them not maybe looking the way they look online or not sounding the way, you know, whatever's written about them. They don't sound maybe as educated as they sound or they don't have the career Or there's just always kind of, you could tell there's kind of a manipulation or a lie that's kind of built around this profile. And listen, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. And I'm I'm just going to tell you just from the perspective of somebody who's never really done that online. I went, my cousin came to California once though, and he said, Rich, there's this new thing out, Tinder. And I said, well, I'm writing Wingman, a book. And he's like, well, you got to learn about it because, you know, you're going to have to mention it in your book because this is a new thing. People are meeting a lot more online and it's an app and whatever. So we went on there and I said, here's the deal. He's like, I'm going to set up an account for you. He's like, you don't got to meet any women or do anything. And I said, okay. And he's like, but we got to set it up where, you know, and we were in California. We're in San Diego, actually, and we're bopping between there and LA where there's thousands of women. Let's call it for what it is and beautiful women. But he's like, let me set the profile up. But I said, here's the deal. I'm going to set it up exactly the way I want to set it up. I just want to get feedback. I want to see how they act. I'm going to actually flip this around. Because I said, I already researched his. I'm looking at his. And I'm like, I kind of see what's going on with you and how you're meeting him, swiping and all that shit. I said, I kind of want to do something different. So I think he put five pictures. I said, I want you to put on five different pictures with me with five different women. All looking very gorgeous, you know, very beautiful, maybe at events that I was going to with some models and designers and whatever. I said, just throw that on there. I just want to see what happens. And I got... You know, a lot of people coming to me, some liking it, some not, whatever the case may be. But the truth was, that's exactly what I was living. And I would tell them, this is what I do and this is who I am. And I think a lot of women were shocked or if they hit me up. I was trying these conversations where, and I legitimately would say every time, to be honest with you, I'm doing, uh, you know, I would have a conversation with them and said, I'm sorry, I'm actually just doing research for a book. Some got pissed, some didn't. They actually, most were like, oh, that's really cool. Because I was, again, being just honest on every level. I think, I'm just telling you, if you are going to be, you know, putting a profile of yourself up, honesty is the only way to go. If you are somebody, and I think I previously discussed this on a quick podcast, if you are overweight and you're heavy, that does not mean other people out there don't like people that are overweight or heavy. Or if you think you're too thin. Or are uh, back to kind of filters. Are you over filtering yourself? Men and women know this. Are you not in the shape that you're showing? Are you showing a photo from five or 10 years ago when you looked a certain way that you don't look now? I'm just saying, when you, how are you going to lie to somebody when you're going to go meet them for the first time, either meet them either on a date or go meet them for a social, I don't know, a cup of coffee, whatever. You're going to also kind of maybe make yourself look a certain way career-wise, especially I see this with men too, kind of bullshitting. Believe me, women know. I'm just telling you, once they have a conversation with you, they know you may not you know, be as wealthy as you're kind of proclaimed to be or, or you're not this person. Just in general, what are you doing? If you're going to start off with a lie, how would you ever expect it to like really you know, evolve into something better? I talk a lot about you know, most relationships. I, for the most part, you have to take an honest approach with one another. When honesty kind of goes out the door, it all does. That doesn't mean you're always going to be honest with one another. I have a newsflash for you. Yeah, everybody kind of bullshits in a relationship. That doesn't mean you're out cheating. But yeah, there's a lot of manipulating and sometimes a little bit of lying. That's par for the course. I don't care what relationship you're in. I don't care if I talk that. Most men or most women, they're not 100% honest 100% of the time. It's ridiculous. Let's just call it for what it is. You could kind of bullshit yourself and make yourself think that you're perfect in a relationship and that you may never do anything wrong. But most people do. Not everybody in the world, you know, I mean, I get there are some people that really are unbelievably honest and try to do everything the right way. But for the most part, most people aren't like that. Put that aside. Just stop lying.
I'm just going to say it. I was looking at a couple of my other friends' uh, profiles, too. They were showing me them. I'm like, not only, it's not that you're lying. This doesn't look like you. This doesn't look like your lifestyle. This isn't, like, what are you doing in a backyard, like, by, uh, let's just say, uh, by a lake? You don't fish. You don't even live. Like, what was that about? Why don't you show them, sit, take a photo of yourself sitting in a Starbucks because you're kind of nerdy. That's what you like to do. And that's most likely where you're going to be. Or if you're in an office, Take the picture. Now, I understand you like to go hang out at certain places. Put a picture of that. Put what you really do in your life. There's nothing wrong with also saying what you want to do in your life. But you got to understand when this person meets you, they're going to know you if they start getting in a relationship with you or even dating you very quickly. So the last thing you want to do is start lying and making yourself look a certain way that you're not. I'm just telling you, I just want to do a quick podcast. Stop bullshitting people especially when it comes to dating apps or dating websites or when meeting people in general i will wrap it up with that stop proclaiming you're something you're not i think you know there's nothing wrong with having goals and dreams but don't be a fake it till you make it asshole i think where you're sitting there kind of talking a lot of shit to whoever you're talking to uh because i just think it's actually a turnoff a lot of times again there's nothing wrong with having all these goals and needs uh, and that you're going after, that's a different approach than kind of making someone think you have already have all these things or making them think um, that you're, I guess you could say to a certain degree, a lot of times I think people are just afraid to be themselves. Be yourself, all right, at that point in time and be honest. Again, photos, what you write, and when you get there, at least that person, you gave them the respect that who they read about and who they saw is who you are. Give them that respect. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there. If you have any questions or comments, you can hit me up. Uh, my program is masteringselfconfidence.com, and that's where I help men find the woman or women of their dreams, even if they've been through a bad breakup or divorce. Uh, richtolenza.com is my website, and uh, that's all I got for you today. Take care.